check out our new Biltong maker. Well, dehydrator. So this is the Septri dehydrator. We actually bought it for the Biltong making business that we wanted to start on Gabriola Island or the Biltong we wanted to make on Gabriola Island. So this is a slightly bigger dehydrator that can handle a lot more um, Biltong. But we're still trying to figure out the licenses on that side. Trust me, it's not easy. Um, and in the meantime, I moved it here because in our household, our built-on consumption has gone up since I got that nice slicer. And uh, we need to make more built-on. Now, this is definitely going to upgrade it. It's much, much bigger. And in this one, we're actually going to hang the built-on. So it's not just going to be lying flat on the racks. Uh, so we got this little thing at the top here that we use to hang the biltong oops sorry let me just put it in um, that we are going to use to hang the biltong and then we've got these beautiful little stainless steel hooks so i'm going to check how it works i might just go back to letting the biltong lie flat anyway because it works great it's not like we're going to retire the little dehydrator i'm just now going to be able to make so much more biltong on it at a time there we go can't wait Anyway, let me get the boltong in and show you uh, what it looks like and how it works. So there you go, our boltong is hung. That is two full eye of rounds. Now that's normally just a little bit too much for my um, small dehydrator and it actually fits in very easily here. I almost feel like I can probably add at least another eye of round. And if I utilize the extra space at the bottom, I could actually put another tray. Maybe I'll put a tray or two at the top for lying flat. So I think with a little bit of luck, I can get four eye of rounds of time into this one. And then um, also, I'm also obviously going to use the small one. So now I can process six eye of rounds at a time. And it normally takes about three to four days for the bolt on to dry. All right, so let's lock it up and get it and get it going. Hey, come on, yeah. Okay, so we want to keep the temperature to the lowest. 70 degrees Fahrenheit is the lowest it can go because we don't want to actually heat it up. And the time, well, wow, that's not the correct time. Um, No, what's going on here? Oh, this is how you set how long you want to leave it in. Maximum of 24 hours. So there we go. We're going to run it for 24 hours and then um, we'll take it from there. So 24 hours at 70 degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. Oh man, it smells so lacquer. It would have been really cool if you could actually just set it for the 72 hours because now I need to remember to set reset it again tomorrow it is a little bit of a pain but hey the end result is that we get built on which is great oh i just love that smell all right folks so our new septri dehydrator uh our upgraded bigger dehydrator so we can make more built on i'll show you how the built on comes out all right, so here we go, folks. Three days later, and our biltong is ready. Let's check it out. So this is perfect the way we like it. Um, it's not too dry. It's still a little wet. We all love it like this. Um, if you want it drier, you need to leave it a little bit longer. But yeah, here we go. Let's go cut some biltong. <laughs> 